Now, I don't normally put my warm-ups um, in these little video clips, but this actually goes back a long way. Well, this is uh, chapter 10 from Ace 2, um, and this warm-up actually relies on something from the very first chapter on chapter 1, so I think this is one that people might possibly have forgot. Now, the equation of a circle, in general, looks like this. That's with center 0, 0. Now, if we have any uh, movement on that, then we have to do a little translation to show that. And this is where we have the center. Also notice the English spelling for this as well, HK. Now, the significant part about this is this is the opposite of this. This is H, that we have negative H here. This is K, this is negative K here. So if we have anything where the center is 0, 0, we can use this top equation. Um, and if it's anything besides 0, 0, then we can use the second formula. So the first formula you can see is 0, 0. So all we just do is substitute in that. So we've got x squared plus y squared. R is 4, so we get 16. So number 1, x squared plus y squared equals 16. Now for the second one, we can see the center is not 0, 0, so we're going to use this formula here. And we're just going to plug in the opposite. So where it says 2, I'm going to plug in negative 2. And then for the second one, where it says negative 1, I'm going to put positive 1. Uh, the radius is 5, so 5 squared is 25. Now for the third one, uh, we have one of them is 0, but we certainly don't have both 0. So for the first one, it's going to be the opposite of 5 is negative 5. Um, with it being 0, we can put y minus 0, but that's just 0 anyway, so we can just put y squared for that one. And then 2 radical 3 squared, 2 squared is 4, radical 3 squared is 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. So some useful skills that you're going to need for when you're actually doing this section. Now what we're going to do is look at rewriting equations in different forms. So this is what I'm going to call the general form, and then we're going to change it into the standard form. So if I'm given either a picture, or if I'm just given the information straight away, so what I know I need to know is that I need to know the center, and I also need to know what the radius is. So if I have that and I substitute those numbers into this formula, then just like the warm-up, you should find that you end up with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start multiplying terms out. So this I'm going to do foil on, so x minus 1 times x minus 1 y minus 4 times y minus 4, then 2 squared is obviously just 4. So just check that you agree with those steps there. And then the order that we like to do this is we like to do the powers first. So we like to do x squared plus y squared. Then we like to do the x's and the y's in alphabetical order as well. So negative 2x plus negative 8y and negative 8y. And then what we have here is 1 plus 16 is 17. Bring the 4 to the other side so it becomes negative 4 plus 13 equals zero. So that's one of the skills they're going to expect you to be able to do, is to manipulate between these two forms. So from here to here, or as you're going to see on the next example, more importantly from here to here, so you can actually find out what the radius and the center of a circle is. Now this is probably the more useful question, because looking at this straight away, it's not actually obvious what the center and the radius is, because it's not in the form that we had in the previous question initially. So we're going to try and reverse all of our steps. So actually, rather than doing FOIL, I'm actually going to try and factor it. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square. So first of all, I want to bring my x terms together and my y terms together. So just using my commutative rule, I can start to rearrange it like this. Now I brought the 16 to the other side because eventually this is going to equal r squared. So I brought my number terms to the other side. So when I do complete the square, I do a half of this number. So I get negative 4. And when I do a half of this number, I get positive 2. Now, when I multiply this out, I automatically get x squared minus 8x. Um, but I don't have anything on the end here, whereas I'm actually going to get 4 squared, which is 16. So 16 take away 16 will give me the 0. So this is now the same as this. Similar idea on this one. When I do FOIL on this, I get these first two terms. But I also get 2 squared, which is 4. And actually, I don't want anything else here. So I just need to subtract 4 to give me 16. And now you can see that we're fairly close to that form that we actually recognize. So negative 16 and negative 4 is negative 20. So when I move that to the side, it becomes positive 20. And when I combine with that term there, that's going to give me 36. So now I can actually start to say what these things are. The center is going to be the opposite of this, so 4 and negative 2. And this is r squared, so in other words, the radius of this question would be the square root of 36, which 
which is 6. So a very useful method for being able to find out details about a circle.